In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom floor for our shed project in Autodesk Revit. And just so you are aware, I am continuing from the previous video where we made the exterior walls for the shed. And I am in level one of my Revit project. The first place I'm going to go to to get to floors is under the structure ribbon and you're gonna see the floor button right here so I'm gonna click on that you'll notice that the properties panel is now changed and there's another drop down menu like we saw with the walls tool so in the drop down menu I'm going to switch to a wood joist 10 inches with a wood finish And this is going to be very similar to what we did with the exterior walls because I want to edit this floor because right now it currently has a nice hardwood finish on the top of it. And I don't really need that in the shed. I probably just want plywood as the top layer. So we're going to make some changes to um, a duplicate of this flooring material. We're going to go ahead and click on edit type. If the preview isn't open, click that preview so you can see a section view of the floor. And we're going to make a duplicate of this floor. And I'm just going to simply name it Shed Floor. And then click OK. And then now we need to edit the structure of the floor. So I'm going to click on Edit. And we are going to delete the oak flooring. So I'm going to click on number one here, over here to highlight that whole row and I'm going to click delete because right now there's an oak flooring on the top. And then that's going to leave us with our plywood as the top layer. So I'm going to click OK, click OK again and you'll notice now that I have my shed floor all ready to go. And I don't know if you noticed it but up top you'll notice our ribbon switch to this modify create floor boundary and the tools have changed. You also see these uh, green check mark when you're finished editing or cancel editing and it's currently on a boundary line. So what that means is we're going to use these existing exterior walls as a boundary line so it knows where to add the floor in. So it's simply going to be four clicks. So I'm going to left click, left click, left click, and left click. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on the green check mark to finish editing. And you'll see this blue bounding box along with this um, span direction one way slab symbol uh, indicating the floor. And then I'm going to go ahead and save and we are done with the floor in this video. In the next video, I am going to work on interior walls. We're going to be adding a closet for some storage in the shed.